going on guys? We're back here with another video. Today's video, I want to talk to you guys about re-gearing your truck. Before I start this video, a lot of you guys keep asking me on my amp steps, Eddie, how are your amp steps so bright? Because you guys are telling me my amp lights suck and they do not, you know, light up at all. You can see here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, that sucks. It's kind of dirty. I do not have the amped lights on this truck. Uh, I will show you guys. So what I did is I got rid of their lights and I just put an LED strip along the whole thing. Uh, just because amped, you know, two little lights that they have kind of suck, as you guys know. They constantly go out and they're just not bright at all. It's a crappy light. Sorry, amp, but you guys need to come up with a better, you know, light fixture on your steps. Also, a quick update on my spotless system you guys keep asking about. Uh, you guys continue to ask me how much it is, you know, what is the fee for it. I honestly, guys, have not got my uh, monthly statement. So they say you only pay $15 a month when you need them serviced. And what you do is pretty much when you plug these in. Oh, by the way, you don't need two. You can only get one. You just need one. Uh, I got two just because, uh, and I guess the guy said in my area, because I live kind of, I wouldn't say in the middle of nowhere, but to them, I'm a little far. I have to have two. So if they make you guys get two of these, I highly suggest doing this. This pretty much, obviously, your hose goes in here in the uh, in portion. And if you only have one, it's obviously going to come out into the one. Well, what I did, instead of having pretty much the one, I linked the two together and one of my subscribers told me about this. It's pretty amazing. And pretty much, here's your hose goes here, links together. And then your out is obviously right here on the outside. And I guess this will even polish the water also. So if you guys need two of these tanks, I highly suggest doing this crossover pipe. And you'll have, you know, crazy, crazy spot free, I guess. The best spot free that you can get. But people also ask me on the price. I just paid their initial startup fee, which I believe was $100, or setup fee was $100. And as of right now, I think it's been over a month. I have not got a bill for them or anything. According to them, it's $15 a month to service it. If need, oh, let's hit the Duramax there. If need to be serviced. So they have not been serviced yet. They're still good. The lights are still shining green on them. Let me know it's okay. So now let's get back to the video and why I, I'm, I'm doing this video because mainly I'm, I'm doing this video because I want to get information from you guys and I want you guys to feed me some, you know, good info and I don't really know. I don't really know much about gearing and, and ratio and all that. So that's why I'm making this video so I can hopefully get some good comments from you guys, some ideas from you guys. And also, if you guys want to ask me questions, you can DM me on Instagram. I will put my Instagram channel uh, name down in the description. It is Duramax King 2500. The link will be down in the description. So you can ask me a bunch of questions on there. Also, it's a lot easier than going through all the comments. I will get to your uh, question faster on Instagram than I will on YouTube through the comments. A lot of you guys ask me, Eddie, I noticed you have 37s on your truck. Bam. Do you have your truck re-geared and should you re-gear it? Doesn't matter if you re-gear. So currently right now on my truck, it is not re-geared. It is the stock 373s that come with the truck. Well, actually, being that the truck is lifted and on 37s, it's probably not 373 anymore. It's probably close to like a 328. So, and why I'm making this video is I want to hear from some of you guys out there that have pretty much lifted their, their Duramax or Dodge or, or whatever it is, Fords, any truck. If you guys have re-geared it, why I'm making this video and why I wanna ask you guys is because I'm thinking about re-gearing my truck, putting in some 456 in there, 456, because that will probably get me to almost a 410 maybe. And I mean, honestly, I, I like that gear ratio 410. I think it's perfect. And I know you guys are gonna say, oh yeah, I got it in my Dodge, I got it in my Ford. You know, I'm not, those trucks aren't bad. I like that gear ratio. I like, uh, you know, how, how it pulls and everything. And not saying GM pulls bad. This video is not meant to, you know, compare my truck pulling or anybody's truck on pulling. But 
I there's like a couple pros and cons. So I notice when I drive like Ford and Dodge, I can pretty much cruise down the freeway, and if I'm doing about I don't know 75, 80 miles an hour, the RPM on the Ford and the Dodge is about 2,000 RPM, almost two, maybe 19. On the GMC, when I'm doing about 80, it's only at about 17, 16, 1700. So obviously because it is a taller gear. But now being half 37s, I'm doing, you know, 80 and I'm getting, you know, shit. It's probably at 1600 RPMs. And this is why, you know, when you guys hear about these guys talking about the, the fuel mileage in their trucks and, you know, these big lifted trucks on 40s or something, this big lifted truck that's on 40s is probably has like 305 gears or something in it because it came with, you know, 373s on the Duramax. So, yes, a tall gear is great for fuel mileage, but is it great for pulling? No, not really. Now, again, I don't have any problems pulling, but I do like the that, you know, extra torque that I would get if I, you know, had a shorter gear instead of having such a long gear. So, I mean, let me know what you guys think. And if there's anybody out there that has re-geared their truck, well, whatever, Ford Dodge, Duramax, GMC, anything, let me know. I'm very curious to know, number one, who you use, what gears you use, and what you think of the truck. I love my baby, but I think I want to re-gear her. And not saying she's running bad or anything's wrong or I don't like the way it drives, but I can tell that the... I don't, I don't know say torque, but I can tell the RPM is, is not there. And obviously with 37s, it's not going to be there because, you know, the truck didn't come with 37s. So I want to know if there's anybody out there that re-geared it because I, I'm, I'm very, very, you know, interested in re-gearing my truck. And I know a lot of people out there say, no, Eddie, you don't have to re-gear it. <clears throat> Nobody re-gears their truck. You know, it's a waste of time. You know, I mean, I, I'm not gonna say it's a waste of time. I think re-gearing this thing would not be a bad idea, but I wanna get your guys' thoughts on it, and I wanna, I wanna get, you know, more people's ideas on what they think on re-gearing their, their truck. Because honestly, out of all the truck people that I know, I haven't met one person yet that has lifted it and has actually re-geared their truck. Uh, I know a lot of people lift the truck, but not one of them have re-geared it. And it is not, you know, I'm not saying when you lift the truck, you have to re-gear the truck. You know, I've had lifted trucks before. I have a buddy that's had a lifted truck for, jeez, I think six years now. It has not been re-geared. Still runs great. He loves it. No problems. I'm not saying you're going to have an issue. I just want to hear from you guys what you guys think. Should I re-gear it? Should I not re-gear it? Should I just keep my truck stock? And also, I was thinking about putting the... Eaton lockers uh, front and rear. I know, I just found out actually too also um, from a couple of my subscribers, which again guys, I make these videos also to, you know, for you guys to help me out because obviously I'm, I'm not the diesel king. I don't know every single thing about every single truck. You know, I, I did not know that the GMC had Eaton lockers on it after I think somebody told me, one of my, or a couple of my subscribers, after a hundred RPM different wheel spin, the rear Eaton locker, I think you call it a G80, will lock up. I was not aware of that, I had no idea. So that's good to know. Also, you guys, the race is going down with these cars. I have told my cousins, listen, start pretty much, get your crap together, get your crap ready because you guys wanna see us race and they talk just so much crap. I mean, so much crap that how fast they are and they're much faster than me, blah, 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 blah. Well, you know what? Like I told them, put your money where your mouth is. Or actually, like some of you guys said, put your put an eyebrow up for it. Somebody told me, bet on an eyebrow. Whoever loses has to shave, shave one eyebrow off. Uh, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I'm gonna start practicing because that's it's a good idea, but it's kind of a scary idea. I'd hate to see somebody, you know, just chop an eyebrow off. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope to hear back from a lot of you guys and hope to hear some good tips and info and if I should or should not re-gear this truck. So thank you guys for watching this video. Peace. Yeah.